All right, you're welcome back. Now I have here with me a special guest. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to this conversation because I know he's a very opinionated man. And uh, uh, with <laughs> the way Nigeria is set up right now, I know he has a lot to say. Charlie Boy, area father. <laughs> Charles Oputa. Who, who, who is here today? Charles Oputa. It, it, it all, of matter, all of them. <laughs> before we go ahead. Be, yeah, before we go ahead today, I, I must warn you, I've okay. had a very... I woke up from the wrong side of my bed today. Okay. So I'm not too... You're not very happy. Yes. With me, with Nigeria. No, no, it can't be with you. With Nigeria. With, with just the environment. What's annoying about Nigeria right now? Because we could really be in a good place, and yet we're not. And we've been fighting this, we've been trying to fix it, and I don't know. I wish I knew what to do. Before but I'm, I'm going ahead to give hope to young people, not to despair, to be a little patient. I mean, what else can a father be saying yeah. or doing, you know? So I'm warning you, you have to ginger me <laughs> to bring out. <laughs> I, 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 I like, I like, I, 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 I'm enjoying the bad mood for now because so, I want to stick with politics and Nigerian issues before we go oh into other God, things. Oh my God, do we, do we, do we? Because I mean, you, you do, you do express your opinion a lot on Nigerian issues and you, you, you're one of those who people actually sometimes look forward to what they have to say. Mm -hmm. what, what are your thoughts on the present government so far? Are you happy with where we are 10 months down the line? Uh... This is my opinion. This government is all about fighting corruption. We've been surviving on corruption money for the past 50 years. A lot has happened. A lot has gone bad. And it's not something that could be fixed in a year or two. So I understand it from that perspective. What I'm not sure is if he has the right kind of cabinet to solve our problems you think he that are dedicated i've met a few people okay the uh, the petroleum minister is one of them perfect gentleman a good scholar and but i just don't feel that way with the cues now. i feel that way okay because you're not going to fix this we've been seeing you uh -uh. what was that We've been seeing Q for how many years? <laughs> That's the problem. This is not the first time we're seeing Q. And it, the problem is not going to go away overnight. It's not going to happen that way. So when you met with him, what did he... Did you ask him about the first situation? What no, do you no, think no. his plans I, I, are? I, 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 I haven't met with him... Officially? You know, on official no, terms. I met with him. That was last year. Okay. Not why we were having this okay. problem. Okay. okay, okay. But... What I gathered from meeting him was he is the perfect gentleman who always meant what he, he says and says what he means. So for me, that's a good takeaway, okay? Because I've met so many people up there whose word don't mean Jack. Yeah. Okay? And then the way he has carried what I've seen in the NMPC, the restructuring and That's everything. Happening. So I know that he is a so man. So you think down the line? He, yeah, down right. the line. He's a man who has who is on a mission and has a vision. Do you, do you have the same? Uh, sorry to question. Do you, yeah. do you have the same thoughts about the power minister as well? Because I think fuel and power are the two things that are biggest on Nigerians' minds right now. That's fashionable. Yes. I think if he's allowed to do his work, yes, he can. He can really. Those are the two people, and then there's one one more person, but. You know, I'm not going to go into that. You know, but yes, if it's allowed, if they stop all this, um, all this petty tribal politics that is going on that I see, just like you were talking about the, the, the why the eagles can't fly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, we we have great players all over the world, but for some reason. You know, it's not happening for us. That's because of the bureaucracy. That's because that of the administration of that surrounds all these things. Okay. Yeah. The problem is, let's let's leave politics for a bit. I know it gets you. It gets all Nigerians actually very agitated. And let's come back to you know. Um, it's good to have you here, of course. And I, I want to start with something that's very personal to me. I, I always thought that at some point we're going to see a reality show from you. Um, it's style, coming. Style it's coming. But please, the lines please, of the let's not talk about it. Uh, right now. It's coming. Is it coming? When when is it coming? Uh, uh, when it comes out, I'll is, let it, you know. is it you or your family? It's my family, of course. So I guess my, my dream is coming true. <laughs> this year? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
we're in the process. Uh, a lot of things are coming. Uh, uh, the album is coming. My book is coming. You know, the show is coming. There's a movie okay. uh, about me, my life is coming. I've lived a charmed life, you know, my brother. I have really. So I'm looking forward to the movie myself. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not playing any role in it, you know, so. Okay. We're going to take a quick break now. When we come back, uh, we're going to be talking more about the reality show and, of course, all the things you have planned. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about that. that thing. I, well, I want to. <laughs> all the things that you probably want to talk about. So we'll see you guys in a moment. Please stay with us.